I have a little saying that I like. I said, I figure I will never see the hand of God, but if I look back behind me, I will always see his fingerprints. I was uh, scheduled to take my van in for maintenance and I had to take my car over to the place so that we could drop the van off. So here I am in the middle of a stroke, not knowing that I was having a stroke. And I drove on Deerfoot Trail, across the river, over to the other side of the city and dropped off the car. And my wife, terrified out of her mind, followed me. She said, I watched you drive. There was something wrong with you. As soon as we got there, she grabbed the key. She said, you get in the van sit down I'm driving we got home she called 911 and uh, luckily the paramedics came in and they knew right away Nick said he's having a stroke they got me to Foothills Hospital I really don't remember much about what happened when I got to Foothills I guess I had to sit in a wheelchair and uh, two hours later I was in getting my first surgery done they put a stent on my carotid artery my left my right side was hundred percent blocked and they uh, did the MRIs and all that kind of stuff and got me in for surgery. And I was just terrified that it was gonna be the end of me. I was scared. I was really scared. And I just had that feeling of peace. My inner voice just said, be calm, relax, it's okay. You know, I really did feel God saying, I got gotcha. you. Wasn't what <laughs> I thought the voice of God would be. It was a quiet voice just in the back of my head saying, you know what? It's okay. I got gotcha. you. The only time I've ever come close to that is the day I held my daughter after she was born. That's the only time I've come close to feeling that kind of peace, that oneness. You know, I truly felt God's presence both of those times. So you know, I knew He was there, no doubt. He was there. Two years after the stroke, I mean, I'm, I'm close to who I used to be, but I'm not quite the same. Um, I, I miss some social cues sometimes. My logic isn't like it used to be. Um, the best analogy I've ever heard of a stroke is like having all the files in your memory, in your filing cabinet of your mind, take it out and go Poof, like that. I, just, I couldn't find anything. It took me three months before I could solve a very simple arithmetic problem, adding up four different numbers. It took me months to do that. Now it's not a problem. You know, it's, you're moving on. And uh, I, I know God will continue with me. I will continue to grow. I'm not done yet. Journey's not over but I know there's not a shred of doubt that God does love me and that God cares for me and that God is with me. That's all I need for now.